Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, in the sports section, the vanity code to add us on the Roku.com website is Dwyer Boxing News, one word, same thing on iTunes. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Yesterday I was watching a Manny Pacquiao fight. And I thought Pacquiao looked a little bit overweight. Then I thought Pacquiao looked a little bit darker than I was accustomed to him. Pacquiao was wearing gold trunks. I couldn't understand why the boxing commentator kept referring to him as Adonis Stevenson. Right? It was several minutes in that I realized I was actually watching an Adonis Stevenson fight. Folks, I know when I call fighters one-handed fighters, people get upset. You know, I'm going to have to apologize to the real Manny Pacquiao here. Because at least the real Manny Pacquiao, while he doesn't have a great right hand, while it's underdeveloped and can't really hit you from distance, even the real Manny Pacquiao has more of a right hand than does Adonis Stevenson. Right? Stevenson... I know he just won. I understand people are going to hype him for his next fight. I understand in his post-fight interview he said that he uh, was the man at 175 pounds, etc. I view Stevenson as vulnerable. Understand, yesterday's fight, how did it end? You knew how it was going to end before the fight took place. With a Stevenson left hand, right? Stevenson's a southpaw. That's the only hand he has. Now, it's like a 100-mile-an-hour fastball in baseball. It's big. When it hits you, it hurts you. No question about it. But I just don't believe you can be one-handed at the upper levels of the sport and expect to be, and I'm not even going to name 175ers. I'm going to name 168ers. I don't know how a guy with these offensive limitations right it's a left hand period it's mostly a left hand up top isn't it right most of the time it's a straight left hand sometimes he'll throw a left hook but how do you beat an Andre Ward or a James DeGale throwing just this punch let me go one step further a guy with a jab on the front end who knows how to deal with spacing. How would Adonis Stevenson beat Carl Frotch for crying out loud? Right? It's just the left hand. People know it's just a left hand. Now, Stevenson frames it well, right? He comes in at a side profile and he's jumping around and stuff like that. And you can tell that guys have a hard time figuring out the angle. But we've seen guys figure out the angle, haven't we? The fun far fight. Didn't that go several rounds? Now this guy yesterday, Dmitry Sohovsky, I know I'm butchering his uh, name, right? We'll call him Dmitry. He's on his front foot. He's exactly the kind of opponent that's tailor-made for Donna Stevenson, right? He's not great defensively. He's not hiding his head, even though Stevenson is primarily a headhunter. He's on his front foot. You know he's coming forward. There's no intrigue. He's not a cautious stalker. He's not Janady Golovkin. He's not Sergei Kovalev. Rather, he's trying to walk down Adonis Stevenson without properly accounting for Stevenson's left to his head. So how does he get stopped? I encourage everyone to look at the fifth round of this fight. Right? You're going to see that he pretty much has Stevenson figured out except for Stevenson's nuclear bomb. His left hand. Stevenson lands it a few times in the round. Dimitri goes down multiple times. The referee mercifully, the last knockdown, understands he needs to call it. Let's talk about what Dimitri's not doing. He's not smothering the left hand, right? 
Stevenson is at a side profile. He's keeping that left hand here. Why isn't Dimitri coming in with his head low and clinching? Clinching Stevenson. Right? Why isn't he? He has a choice. He can either stay far away from the left hand. Right? And try to throw his own left hooks and be over here someplace. Right? Or he can come over on this side. And he can literally try to smother it. Have a hand up by his head. Have a hand up by his chin so Stevenson can't come in and hit him with it. And then try to literally be too close to Stevenson's left hand for Stevenson to get extension on it. Right? He could even come in, throw lefts to the body, force Stevenson into a different dynamic. Take away Stevenson's body because you know... Stevenson is going to have his right shoulder right in front of you. But this guy really wasn't ready for that kind of strategy. Just understand, though, they're card players all over 168 pounds. Right? In my opinion, Sergei Kovalev is just developing his full game. He has great punching power. Right? He's just developing his full game. I don't view Kovalev... One of the champs at 175 as being as complicated as, let's say, I view an Andre Ward or James DeGale or, for that matter, a Carl Frotch. Right? So let's just say I view Stevenson as limited, even today, after this blockbuster knockout performance. Right? I didn't learn much here. Right? Look at the punch he hits Chad Dawson with. Look at the punch he hits... Tavares Cloud with, look at the punch he hits this guy, Dimitri, with. It's the same punch. Right? Understand, boxing's about angles. A slick fighter can take away that left hand from you. Right? You can't live on it. Isn't that what Juan Manuel Marquez did to Manny Pacquiao over the course of four fights after the first round of their first fight? Right? You can have one-punch knockout power in one hand. The difference between world-class and less than world-class is that world-class guys should be able to take your plan A away from you. I don't see enough of the right hand from Stevenson. Right? I don't see enough of the plan B in his offensive arsenal for me to feel that he can hang with the DeGales or the Wards. Quite frankly, I feel if Jean Pascal shows up ready, Pascal might be able to take him out if Pascal can get by Kovalev in what's going to be a very difficult fight. Obviously, my cat here in the background disagrees with me. Let me hop off here and give this kitty some cat chow. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.